title of this writing is Small Talk. It seems as though it's the currency of connection, but in the long haul, it's monopoly money. Small Talk. It's a great way to warm up a conversation, but many people never pivot off of it, and it becomes mindless chatter that just fills the air. I was in Small Talk one day. I was traveling on airplanes to my way to conduct seminars in Alabama. I interacted with a lot of travelers that day, most of whom went no deeper than thimble deep. Many talkers are just that. Talkers. They have no interest in you. They just want to regurgitate what's running around in their mind in hopes that saying it again will make it go away. They'll go nonstop without breathing for multiple sentences at a time. It's assaulting. Small talkers hardly ever make a connection and are completely forgettable the minute you leave their sphere. And from my experience, small talkers are some of the hardest people to reach because there's no space in their mind for something new to enter. They're jam-packed with facts and figures and numbing blather that perpetually replenishes itself. I consider myself very fortunate to have learned about pattern interrupts. That's a way to interrupt people on many levels, visually, auditorily, and kinesthetically, so that there's momentary breathing room to insert something into the conversation to take them just a little bit deeper. Reminds me of a story from that day. I took my seat on the plane, and the guy next to me says he and the guy next to him were hoping that I would be a woman. I laughed. I told him we were going to be part of the all-boys club on this flight. About ten minutes later, after some non-stop one-way chatter to the guy next to him, the expletives became more frequent. I noticed the woman in the seat in front of us and the woman across the aisle were shifting in their seat with each four-letter utterance that came out. I turned to the guy and I interrupted. I said, you know what? Let's pretend I was a woman. Would you be using the same words you are now? He said, no. Nah. And that was the last we heard of him until landing in Charlotte for our connecting flight. He did manage to smile and wave at babies across the aisle. I also noticed a wry smile from the woman in front of us when I made the comment. By all means, reach out and interact. It's an acknowledgement of the other's presence, and it can be quite pleasant, informative, entertaining, and a great way to connect. I guess my reminder is to notice that there's another person in the conversation with you, and that there are others within earshot around you. It's respectful. It enriches you both. And the best news is you don't have to reach out and choke them. <laughs> All the best, John.